So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen about variables. What is variable? Why we do we need variables? How to create variables? How to assign values? How to use those variables in your program and all. Okay, and we have seen one program also how to swap two numbers with the help of a third variable. Okay, it's not like that. We are using only third variable you can swap two number without using any other variable you can swap numbers. But those program we can discuss later uh, in some videos. Okay, now there are some rules to name variables. Okay, how to name a variable like we have taken a, b, c, x, y, z or name, age, these kind of things. No, there should be some name of a variable. So you have to follow some rules to name a variable. Okay, so what are those rules? First thing is what? It is not a rule actually, but you should take care of this thing. The variable name should be meaningful. See, uh, what I'm saying is, suppose uh, let's uh, take this example. I'm asking from user, what is your name? Okay, whatever user will enter that name, I'm going to store in a variable. Now, the name of that variable should be meaningful. What is your name? So, I'm asking your name. So, better to uh, uh, take a meaningful name, like name I'm taking. Although you can take A, A is equal to what is your name? So, whatever name like Jenny, I'll provide. So, in A, Jenny would be stored. But that is not meaningful. By looking at A, if after some days, if I look at this variable A, by looking at this, I cannot say which type of value is stored in the same. And if I have taken name here, then I can tell after a few days also whenever I look back at my code like this name is having name of someone so it should be meaningful if I ask like what is your age so better to take variable name age or you can take my age multi word variable you can also take but for that also we will see some rules okay it should be it's not like that what is your age and I am taking name yeah it will not give any syntax error or nothing else you can take this variable name also but it is not meaningful like I'm asking age and I'm storing that variable in variable name name I think that's not meaningful okay so first thing it should be meaningful second thing is what now the actual rule comes in a variable name a variable name can have only alphanumeric characters like from capital A to Z small a to Z 0 to 9 numbers and underscore these things a variable name can have like for example we have age so it is having a to z numbers uh, sorry a to z uh, letters so if i uh, say something like this like name one that is also fine if i am saying name one two three that is also fine if i say name underscore one that is also fine because underscore is also allowed okay so a variable name consists of these things but no special symbol is allowed no special symbol other than this underscore is allowed if i write something like this name space one space is also not allowed you, you have to you know keep taking notes of this thing space is not allowed if i write hash this is also not allowed if i write something like this like age question mark the special symbol is also not allowed any special symbol is not allowed rather than this underscore okay now next rule is what a variable name must start either with a letter or underscore if i write something like this one underscore age this is invalid because it is starting from a digit so a variable name cannot start with a digit yeah, this is fine. Age underscore one. This is fine. It is starting with letter or underscore age. This is also fine. So variable name can start with must start with either a letter, either small or capital or underscore. Okay, it cannot start with a digit. Now, let me give you some example of multi word uh, name if I am taking my age multi word name you can also take okay like my variable name my age like this thing so if I write multi uh, word name then there are some rules also 
like some cases or technique also you can use first is camel case in camel case or in this technique what we do each word like i have this name my name so i am having here two words one is my one is name so every word other than the first word will start with capital letter see first is with small then capital if i take like my variable name so i am having three words my variable name three words are there so first word is having small letter next word is starting with capital letter next word is starting with capital letter so this technique is camel case next is pascal case in this case every word is having every word will start with the capital letter like my variable name or my name each word will start with capital letter third is one is like snake case in this case each word would be separated with the underscore like my underscore variable underscore name three words are there each word is separated with the underscore so i generally prefer in this case to use multi you know multi word variable name so i am just giving you some example you have to tell me this is assignment for you guys like the, these variable names are valid or invalid see so these are some variable name like roll number having a space then id then s1 underscore name then roll number with underscore then age with the double quotation mark you have to tell like these are valid or not and some more rules are one more rule is what uh, there are some reserved word in python so you cannot use those reserved word as a variable name like in c and c++ also we have some keywords or reserved words those cannot be used as variable name like class in this case for example we have class is a reserved word so this cannot be used as a variable name okay so you can check out the reserved words those we cannot use as variable name fine python is case sensitive actually okay so in this case like if i'm writing this row number and if i'm writing this row number these two are considered as different names because here r is capital here r is small so python is case sensitive language so these variable name are also you can say case sensitive fine so you have to tell these are valid or not one more thing i we have discussed how to assign values or how to create variables so there are some ways which statement is valid which is valid and which is invalid you have to tell in comment section one statement is where a is equal to 1 i am assigning a value 1 to the c then 1 is equal to a this assignment or where underscore a is equal to 1 which one is valid which one is invalid you have to tell me in comment section okay <clears throat> so now i guess uh, there are simple rules of variable you uh, know how to name a variable that's it about for now about variables uh, in the next video we'll see uh, data types primitive data types in python so now we'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care